Hello everybody, welcome to Coco's Crochet. I'm Litsa and today I thought I'd bring you a little video to share with you all my yarny acquisitions over the last few weeks. Now I've been meaning to pop them in, you know, my podcast here and there, but I keep forgetting. So I thought, let me just do one video because, you know, I just thought I want to share what I've, uh, I've got. I'm actually very excited to use everything and some of them were at a really good price, which you know I love some were just you know out of necessity but i just thought you know who else will i share it with but my yarny friends no one else seems to worry about what my yarny acquisitions are so there is a variety of here i'll just talk you through some of them and some will be future projects that you'll be seeing some hopefully very very soon others you know i'm going to ask you for some ideas for so i really don't know where to get started so you know what i'm going to do i'm going to go clockwise so i'm going to start over here now some of you may remember about a year ago, maybe even more, I really wanted to work with um, the, uh, the fleece um, to make some blankets. So I bought a rotary cutter so that I could make the holes and then crochet borders on them because that was such a huge thing at the time, like maybe a year and a half ago, and I'm sure they still are. But I did buy the fleece and I did buy the rotary cutter, the one that makes the slip the skip stitch one uh, actually went through two because the first one didn't work but i never got around to doing it and i saw a video once of someone saying if you can actually buy the um throws or the you know the fleece blankets with the actual stitching already in there well there's um half the job already done so guess what guys i managed to get five not at a discount price but at a great price now i know that you know i've got black here um there are five as i said um you know i'll just show you so there's another three four in and then one that i'm working on i'll show you that one now because i have five um adult children that i want to make something for them for easter so i thought you know a blanket would be nice because it's coming up to the cooler weather here in sydney australia and i thought what a great opportunity um so i haven't actually finished anything but i have started so I'll just show you where I'm at. And I've got another idea to go with it, which will mean I'll use one of my books because it's all about stitching, you know, um, what is it? Use your stitch library this year as every year. And I thought this was a good opportunity. So this is it basically. What I'm going to use is all my variegated yarn because I think that'll make nice borders. And I've actually started, guys. So what I'm at the process now of just doing the single crochet um, stitching, US terminology. Um, and this yarn is beautiful but why i'm showing you this now is because i just want to show you the hook that i'm using and i don't know if any of you have done this before but let me tell you if you can have a hook with a sharp point it just makes it so much easier to get into that stitch that sewn on stitch because it's just thread and you've got to be careful obviously not to snag it or um, break it but this hook has been amazing so if you've got something similar to this you know that would be the most ideal hook and i want to say thank you to fia because she's the one that sent me this hook now i do know and here's the little brand i do know that you can get them on amazon and it has just been perfect because i don't think i would have managed um to get my normal hooks under there so i just wanted to show you that so these are going to be four blankets that i want i need to make um for orthodox easter which is very very late this year it's the beginning of may so i do have plenty of time to make them but i also have this gorgeous book and in this book and i've had it sitting in my um, library for ages it's actually got these gorgeous gorgeous borders so let me show you this or edging as they're calling them how awesome are they so i'm going to pick and choose at least well i've got five blankets to make but if i choose at least and then it gives you the patterns on them you know at least a couple of different designs rather than just doing you know the scallop edge which is which is pretty much my go-to i really need to start varying up my projects and i've done that of late thanks to our cal 2024 um, I've been trying different projects and then I thought oh, I know that I've got a book with some edges in there I know that I could or you know borders I know I could go obviously to YouTube and that's my other go-to 
but I've got this gorgeous book, why not use it? So stay tuned, guys. Hopefully in the next few weeks or at least, you know, a month or so because I've got so many projects on at the moment, I'll be able to get those um, finished and ready for um, the my grown adult children but they're still my babies right i'll be able to get them ready for them so i'm just going to pop these down on the floor here very gently they're just going to bounce down there they won't um, ruin in any way because i also have another acquisition underneath now i just happen to be walking through kmart as you do and i'm always looking for plushies to make lovies they, this is not plushies believe me i've got boxes and boxes full but i saw these awesome giant foam playing square mats now this was such a great buy look there's four in there and this was like i think around ten dollars and they are huge as you can see and the reason why i got that is at the time i was you know thinking i might have to block a shawl or have to block a big cardigan or something and all i've got is and you may have seen it when i show you some of our squares that I've made over the time, that they only fit like a square on them. So I thought this was awesome. Although I do prefer the ones with the lines on them, it just makes it easier eyeballing it, you know, with the measurements. But this, I just have to use a tape measure, you know. For that price, I couldn't go past them. So I was so happy to pick those up. And now I've got them sitting here waiting, um, you know, for any project, because I've never been someone that blocks before, but I've started doing in the last few months and I can see why people do it. It's pretty awesome. Now, another thing that I need to get on top of always, and I've did, done a little tidy up um, last week, not a huge clean out because I did one late last year and I think I've been pretty good at keeping the place tidy, um, my yarn room, but I, I did need more boxes for yarn, as you do, right? Because I don't stop buying yarn. Um, unfortunately, that's our one and only obsession, at least mine anyway. So I went into Ikea and I purchased these um, by cubes. Now, you may have ref uh, heard me refer to my cubes before. For example, when I mentioned, you know, how much of that Marvel 8-ply yarn I have, and I said I've got about five or six of them, this is what they are. So these come to us from Ikea. They're actually awesome. They're about 33 centimetres, which is about... 12 13 inches so they're pretty good size and the reason why i had to buy them this time around guys and i'll take my little receipt out i managed to get oh let me show you all this yarn not these two but see these gorgeous colors here and i'll show you them up close i was walking through big w um oh i don't know this would have been over a span of the last three weeks and every time i walk past they'd only have two or threes left of these left on the shelf i'll show you the colors first and then i'll give you the stats now these are both my colors i absolutely love them this one definitely as you can see with all the purples and i love the browns and the grays but this one is also one that my daughter would love as well so I have used this yarn in the past. It's actually a 100% polyester yarn. It is super soft and squishy. And generally I make corner to corner blankets with it. I have done so for my daughter um, recently and others in the past. And I thought, you know what, at the time when I first saw the first slot, because I've actually got 15 of these now and 14 of these, I thought, well, it doesn't matter. I'll just buy whatever's there because I knew that I could team them up with the yarn that I already had. And this is what I've used before, the Bella Baby Nippers. Yes, and this is a very similar yarn from Spotlight, but it's slightly more thicker, just a little bit, but they're both 100 grams, um, so 100 gram balls. This one is more expensive though. This is $5, but I had this in my stash already. I've got um, seven of these, and I'll show you the other one that I've got eight of. So I knew that I could make something, even if it was a baby blanket, but I've ended up with 15 now and seven. So that's more than enough for a big person's blanket, myself. And then I have this one, I have eight of these, and I thought that would marry very well with this one. Again, the same nippers yarn, slightly thicker to this one. So what I do is when I do the corner to corner, with this one, when I do the three loops, I only do two with this one. Sorry, three double crochets, not loops, three double crochets in the... Um, the you know like the granny stitch part of the um <laughs> c2c blanket i have lost all my words today so this is what prompted me to buy some of these cubes and i'm so glad that i have because as i look around me and i'll show you i've acquired even more yarn since so these were not on special but because i kept seeing them as i said in dribs and drabs two three four five here and you know one two three the next week i just bought them 
every week thinking, oh, this will be the last lot. And now that I've gotten to 15 and 14, I'm not going to be buying any more. I need to make something out of these, more than likely some corner-to-corner -corner blankets. Unless you have another idea for me, I am open to discussion and conversation and, of course, suggestions. So thank you for that. Now, um, on topic with yarn, I love blanket yarn. Surprise, shock, horror. But to the newbies, if you don't know, I love blanket yarn. I actually have a whole playlist of different makes using blanket yarn. I had a huge haul of blanket yarn of millions. Go and see all of that if you haven't already done so. But when I was in um, Spotlight, I think like only just like last week, they had the blanket yarn and I love this one. Now, this is the Moda Vera one. I had actually purchased another um, lot that had the sparkle in it um, about six months ago or so. Sorry, they're all floppy. But these ones are generally $18 each. Now, I think that's a very hefty price. I'll show you the other. So I've got the navy and the lemon. And they are huge. These are 300 gram balls. Blanket yarn, for those of you that don't know, again, is a polyester yarn. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a bulky weight yarn and you make so many gorgeous things with it. Do they actually have names on them? Yeah, this one is called Peach. That one was Navy. And this one here is... It's nice when the writing's big for a change. I usually can't read anything without my glasses. This one is yellow, of course. I love this hot pink because I usually don't like just pink, but they've called it pink. And then this other gorgeous royal blue. And what have they called it? They're calling it royal. So these colours are absolutely love. All those colours. And the reason why I bought those, because you know what, I like to buy my yarn in millions and I do have plenty, but I didn't have these colours. So I thought one ball of each. Let me tell you, the temptation was there to buy a lot more. Lucky I didn't have enough bags with me and I wasn't going to buy a bag. Um, they were $18, but reduced by 30%. So I paid just over $12 each, which I think is reasonable because in a bag of millions, you get 400 grams, full price $12. So I kind of justified that in my head. <laughs> I guess, you know, we have to, right? Now, I also bought some of this gorgeous um, cotton yarn. It is the Eco Cotton XL, and there's 200 grams in this ball. Here it is here. Now, look at the color, right, guys? Absolutely gorgeous. I bought three. Now, this isn't cheap yarn. It's usually $16 a ball, which I think, um, you know, considering you're getting 200 grams, it's not unreasonable, but it is a lot of money. But I had to buy it because our beautiful friend, friend Fran, she had made this gorgeous bar, um, market bag for me using it, and I just had had to have it so that I could make some, you know, other gorgeous projects of my own. And at the time, we were in the middle of making the water bottle holders for our cow. Um, and I thought, you know what, this will come in handy. And I absolutely love the colour. And, you know, being on sale, it was around $11 rather than 16 which I thought was very reasonable. And I probably couldn't get it at a much better price, oh, 50%, of course, but 30% was really, really good. So I got that lot of yarn there as well. And I also bought some hooks. Now, those of you that have been with me for a while know I've misplaced for months and months now my three and a half millimeter clover a more hook and my six millimeter a more hook. Nowhere to be found. I've turned um, the spaces that I crochet in upside down, but I just can't find them. So I really did need to get a three and a half millimeter hook. So I bought this boy hook. Um, but the ergonomic version. I do have the boy hooks that are just the metal, and I quite enjoy those, but I'm so used to working with hooks that are ergonomic now. And I have heard other um, uh, YouTubers talk about these. I know that KK from K&K Crochet, I think her favourite hook is the orange boy hook. So I'm hoping I'm on the right track, because I also bought two of the hot pink ones, which I couldn't get the 5mm, these are 5.25, and the reason why I got two is um, I'm going to have the great joy and pleasure of helping my neighbours learn how to crochet, my neighbours across the road, a mother and daughter. So Yvette and Charlie, if you're, look, if you're watching today, hello, we'll be doing this together very, very soon. I'll just get a little bag ready for them with some bits and pieces, you know, stitch markers, some yarn and some other information and pop them in there. So I just cannot wait for that to happen. So I thought it was a good opportunity to pick these up when I was picking up my own hook as well. Now, I haven't quite gone clock 
clockwise have I guy I'm all over the place but lucky last I've got two more things to show you again at the spotlight 30% off sale last week I believe it was you know how much I love dolls I have got patterns and patterns on how to make dolls boxes and boxes of kits on how to make dolls I just need to make the dolls so originally from the Nitty Critters collection I had purchased these two gorgeous ones the Sweet Sophia and this gorgeous Gertie Gardner now these are usually sixty dollars each, but I don't pay sixty dollars each. I bought although that lot I bought at I think I had a forty percent voucher and maybe a thirty percent off sale as well. And these two that I got now, so there are five in the collection, but I got four because there were no more left of the, the last one. These were at thirty percent off, so I paid around what would that be forty something forty one forty two dollars rather than sixty. I think that's fair considering all the you know everything you need is in there. So we got um, this little gorgeous one, which is what's her name? Lovely Laura, and she is lovely, and I just love this one. This one is sporty Stacy. She reminds me of my daughter when she was little because she's always been so sporty. Now, the only one that I didn't manage to get was this little one here. But that's okay. I can live with that. Now, the main thing is that I need to get started and make some of these, right? But I do have them in my collection and it's all about the collection. Um, I think someone, I think was it Caroline from um, Carol, for the Love of Crochet? Caroline for the Love of Crochet. She's gorgeous. If you haven't visited all these YouTubers that I'm talking about, please go and do so. They're awesome humans. Um, I think she said she has a book that these come out of. Um, and she said that they're not as easy as I think. Oh, my God. But challenge accepted, right? Now that I've got them, I've got no choice. But again, it's about time, making the time or having the time to make them. But I wonder which one I'll make first. I've got a feeling it's going to be this one. And this might be one of the goals that I have this year is to make an amigurumi for every member in my family. So this one might have to go straight to my daughter. <laughs> and I've actually got one called Sweet Sophia, which is my goddaughter's name. So maybe there you go. <laughs> I've got theirs um, sorted. I've just got to get onto it. Okay, so that's it, guys. I don't think I've got anything else to show you. So I have been busy um, shopping. I have been enjoying myself over the last few weeks, as we all do. But I've got the luxury of getting to share it with you. So thank you for hanging out with me. And let me tell you about all my little yarny acquisitions. Um, as I said, if you've got any ideas for this yarn here, other than a corner to corner blanket, please let me know. I absolutely love this yarn. And you know, I've made uh, quite a few. I've made one for my son's bed um, using this one that had the black, grey and the white in it. You may have seen it in previous videos and I had teamed that up with the black or this charcoal colour. It's not actually black, is it, guys? Where is it? Oh, it's fallen down. Oh, here it is, this one here. But I think that'll go nicely with um, the purple. This is my blanket. I'm bagsing it already. This is a blanket for Litza. So all suggestions are welcome, as I said earlier. I would really appreciate it. So that's it, guys. Done very, very quickly got to share everything with you. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. Hope you're keeping well. Hope you've done a little bit of yarny shopping for yourself as well. It always brings us a little bit of joy rewarding ourselves with something awesome. So on that note, until I see you all very, very soon, take care everybody. Bye-bye for now.